Item number, SCP-112. Object class, Euclid. Name, The Variable Coaster. Description, SCP-112 is a steel sit-down roller coaster, formerly known as the Blue Steel Surfer. Built in 1900 unknown, SCP-112 was marketed as the crown jewel of the unknown amusement park. Initial testing of the ride resulted in extremely negative experiences from testing staff. When these reports became public knowledge, the financial repercussions of the failure of the Steel Surfer resulted in the parent company of the amusement park going bankrupt. The property was abandoned and undisturbed until 1900 unknown, when a local gang broke into the park and reactivated the improperly disabled rides, SCP-112 included. When police attempted to arrest the members who were exiting SCP-112 after its inaugural ride, the riders began to redact it, attracting local media attention. Suspecting the ride had traits within its mandate, the Foundation purchased the park, under the auspices of rebuilding the park as a mu-sadistic land, in order to test any potential anomalous properties from the ride. When SCP-112 is started, the ride functions as expected until point alpha, its primary drop. When a car reaches point alpha, the train vanishes. After three minutes, the estimated time the train would normally take, the train rematerializes at point omega, 3M from the coaster's starting point. Human subjects riding SCP-112 have a drastically different experience compared to outside observation. The time frame between point alpha and point omega is massively extended, with subjective ride times ranging from four minutes to unknown months. The properties of the ride also vary from person to person. Most subjects report elements on the ride that do not exist on the ride proper, like bat wings, cobra rolls, and inclined loops. Subjects do not have any sense that the rest of the world is alien or otherwise different, only the ride experience is different. Upon exiting the ride, subjects typically experience feelings of confusion and ill health, depending on the subjective time they spent riding SCP-112. These feelings are based not on any physical maladies but the subjective experience of dealing with a physical malady for an extended period of time. For example, a subject with a subjective ride time of three days may experience confusion that he had strong feelings of hunger for most of his ride, but at the end of the ride he was not hungry at all. Special Containment Procedures SCP-112 is contained within the abandoned unknown amusement park, designated Site Unknown. Site Unknown is to be staffed with a standard complement of 12 armed guards dressed in designated amusadistic land garb, to prevent civilian interference. SCP-112-S power supply is housed within a standard foundation prefab building with two high security door locks and a standard staff of six security staff and one operator. Since all other rides in Site Unknown are intentionally disabled, civilian intervention is low. As the anomalous properties of SCP-112 occur regardless of its condition, only mandatory maintenance work is to be done on SCP-112. This also ensures that local civilians treat SCP-112 and its surroundings as abandoned and ignored. All tests involving SCP-112 must be conducted with a portable toilet nearby, as well as a small table with basic food and drink items.